The Unity Coalition for Israel, together with the Democracy Under Attack Project, present the Battle for Truth, a symposium held in Nashville, Tennessee, at the 2012 National Religious Broadcasters Convention. After witnessing the presentation of the Champion of Religious Freedom Award to the president of the NRB, Dr. Frank Wright, many distinguished guests spoke their minds on the topic of religious freedom and the ongoing battle for truth. Christians and Jews are standing together in the Unity Coalition for Israel. Join us. Shalom. My name is Gili Rutovich. I born in Israel and raised in Israel. And my parents both are Holocaust survivors. I introduce myself as a son of Holocaust survivors because thanks to the terrible price that they paid, I had this amazing, miraculous opportunity to born in Israel and raise in Israel and thanks God raise my children now in Israel. I must say that this terrible price that they paid so I can live in Israel, this is something that only God did. Why? Because now, when we live in Israel, in this free country, I'm looking at my parents, I'm looking at my father. When he came from the Holocaust to Israel in 1947, 16 years old, he was looking like 10 years old because he was starving all his childhood. And in 48, when the War of Independence started, he ran to the army to volunteer. They say to him, you are a boy, you are a child, you can't fight. And he said, I can't fight, I'm just looking like a boy. And he lied, he said, I'm 19 years old. Please give me a gun, I want to fight for Israel. And my father was coughing blood because he, was, he had problems in his lungs because of the, of the Holocaust. And what happened? Miraculously, he was healed. Try to imagine a child that he saw in his own eyes people murdering his family. He was supposed to get treatment. He was supposed to get psychology who will help him. He never got it. But my father, thanks God, is a very happy person. He raised his family in Israel. He is completely healed. And I asked my father, how can you do it? And he told me, when Ben Gurion, our first prime minister, visited the refugee camps after the war in Europe, and he saw the Holocaust survivors there, he shook his head and said, we lost our chance, we lost our dream, we will never be able to build a nation. These are not people, these are dust. But look at this miracle. Only God can do it. Only God. He healed these people. And he, my father told me, God told him, I, you don't have time to be miserable. Forget the past. Forget everything. You must be healed because you have a new mission now. You have to build a nation. Yeah. That's right. And that's what happened. They built a nation. From dust, from the ashes, they built a nation. We are now in a time of threat, that's for sure. But I'm sure, I have all the confidence that my children will not have the same Holocaust as my parents had. They will live in security in Israel. And why? Because we have the Christian brothers that support us and help us and bring all the strength to be sure that Israel will not stand alone again. We have a country. My father and my mother never left Israel for one single day since they came to Israel. They are wealthy people. They can travel everywhere. They said, God gave us this miraculous gift. After 2,000 years of exile, we are in Israel. We will not leave her. This is a gift that we must hold and grab in our hands. And that's what we are doing. I must say that I took my father two years ago 
to see the Feast of Tabernacles, celebrated by the Christian embassy in Jerusalem. In his own eyes, he's over 80s now, in his 80s, he saw thousands of Christians celebrating and dancing with Israeli flags and honoring Israel. And my father, his paradigm about Christian was that they murdered his family and went to church on Sunday. Suddenly he saw all these Christians dancing with the Israeli flags and honored Israel. And he said to me, he asked me, are you sure those are Christians? And I said, yes, those are Christians. And my father immediately said, those are our brothers. They should all come and live with us in Israel. I said to him, amen, let's have it. So please be with us, be our brothers, help us. With, with your support, we need you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I had some thoughts prepared, but I'm really, I'm just gonna thank my brother over here for his testimony. I didn't get your name, sorry, Gil. Um, of course, I work for the Christian Embassy. My name is Daryl Heading. I'm the Strategic Development Director. Um, and your words meant a lot for me knowing how impacted your father was at, at the feast. Thank you um, for yes, and I hope you come again this year. <laughs> when, we, when we look at you and your testimony that you gave us, um, and I've said this to other people before and I've met them, um, especially Israelis, they ask, why do you come to Israel? And for many of us, I think we have to admit that looking at Israel and what God is doing and has done through them reminds us that our God is real, that He exists. If you, you don't need better proof in the world of God's existence than to look at Israel. And we hope that when you look at us in return, and when we come to you with our support, when we invite you to our events and show you love and appreciation, that you realize that God has not forgotten you. And in the midst of all the troubles that we heard about today and the difficulties, we know there are, there are problems. We know the world wants to take Jerusalem away from you. We, the world wants to divide your land. We know there are consequences for that, but then again, we know that God is doing a work of restoration in Israel. Yeah. Uh, we are humbled in a way to be a part of that, that God has called us to stand beside you in this work, that we are able to be as a Christian embassy, especially present in Israel, um, helping and standing alongside you. Uh, today, I will say that we um, are also privileged to have a partnership with Yad Vashem in Israel as the Christian Embassy. Um, and as part of that, of course, is to fight anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism as well around the world, um, recognizing the atrocities of the Holocaust. In fact, today, our executive director, um, only appointed last year, um, is in fact a German whose father served with the Nazis, um, who today loves Israel and is one of the biggest supporters of Israel and a very outspoken supporter in that regard. And when we look at the situation and what's happening today, we are horrified and we speak out on your behalf. We do not want to see Jerusalem turned into another Berlin and divided. Uh, we do not want to support a two-state solution that would see an area set up in the historical homeland of Israel that's Judenrein, a Jew-free zone as the Nazis hope for. We cannot support such a thing. And we stand up in support of you and, and speak up for you on your behalf when you cannot, hopefully. In Jerusalem, of course, today is a, also a specifically difficult situation. We've heard a lot about freedom of religion. Probably the least free area of Jerusalem today is the Temple Mount, the one area that Israel does not control in Jerusalem. So whereas the world would like to take Jerusalem away from Israel, uh, in fact, there is complete freedom of religion ex in, except in the one region where they do not have control. Why? Because in 1967, in a very gracious act, they gave control back to the Islamic Waqf. And today, Jews cannot pray on the Temple Mount. The world should be outraged, but they say nothing. We will speak up on your behalf. God bless you. Thank you. I want to talk about something that's very exciting.
that Esther has put together. It's called Sign the De Declaration Today. It is the solution to the Israeli problem. So I'm going to give these to you as you go out. I'd like you to look at them very carefully. And then what I'd like you to do, if you don't mind, if you'd like to include them in anything that your organization would like to do, we'd like to have you as partners with Esther. So uh, they're here and I'll give them to you as you, as you go out. Since 1991, the Unity Coalition for Israel, UCI, has educated and motivated millions of people around the world to action in support of Israel. UCI is an alliance of Christian and Jewish organizations and individuals working together to ensure the sovereignty, safety, and security of Israel, America's only reliable democratic ally in the Middle East.